So today we will learn about generics in Java. So we have already done uh, some programming on generics. I think you already know what are generics. Yeah. Yes. So introduced in J2SE 5.0 generics, but now in JDK 6 or later editions, it has been made mandatory. So if you are using using any later version which is greater than or equal to JDK 6, it means that you are you will be using generics. You cannot ignore it. Mm -hmm. So the most common example of Jendix which we have used is from the collection framework. So it is, it is used to specify types. So for type safety we use Jendix because we saw that there were some problems like when we are using uh, a, say a link list or an array list. So if we did not specify types proper type that what elements will be adding and what elements will be trying to retrieve what kind of elements so there was a problem so this is the problem that we created an link list we added an element in teaser type so at the time of retrieving so there were two problems that we need to do explicit typecast right Mm -hmm. Yes, so this type casting was required, and the other problem was that at any time you could add any kind of elements. So there was not type safety. Type safety was the major problem. So even this code was allowed. So you can add any element to the list. So this is not correct actually. So usually we create array list or link list or, or any kind of list and that that list belongs to only one kind. We do not want to create any list which can contain uh, several types of uh, several elements of other uh, different data types. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So this was the problem. So at the time of retrieving the element we used to specify this type casting and there was a possible problem of uh, a bug we can insert in the program so to ignore such things we have generics so we have already used this kind of syntax so if you want to create an array list or a link list which which can only store of integer data type values of integer data type so we can use this angular braces and we can specify the type so here we are specifying that we are creating a link list and this link list can only hold of uh, values of integer data type right yes so at the time of retrieving elements we do not need to specify the type casting and even if you if you have created an uh, link list or array list and you want to add elements using the add function you cannot just go ahead and add any kind of element so if you have created an array list of integers so you can only add elements of integer type integer is a class so this is the use of generics it makes your program very very professional Mm -hmm. Okay, so there there are various usages of Jendix, so we'll see each of them. So, okay, here is an example of simple Jendix. So, here is an, we have an interface, which is list actually. So, this E. This E could be any type, could be any class actually. So, when you specify and uh, this is a declaration inside the Java classes the, it is part of Java actually so this is a real time a real declaration so we'll see how to, how to declare generic interfaces or generic classes so let's see mm -hmm. okay let's see an example Yeah. 
so you can see the eclipse yes okay so we have a simple very very simple class generic class and inside it we have declared three types so what does this mean inside the angular vessel we have specified t u v you can write anything here even j anything so it does not matter what you are what character you are specifying but this character represent a class so if you write t u v it means that this generic class it can handle uh, the types three three types actually so three types mean the first type can be integer the second type can also be an integer and third type can can be integer or any other class or any combination of these types so we have in this simple class we have a declaration uh, constructor so this constructor takes two parameter t and then u uh, we have array list and inside the array list we have specified a generic type that t so whenever the constructor is called it will it will be called using two parameters so the first parameter should be an array list and that array list should only contain elements of this type this class right mm -hmm. and then we have another exam uh, parameter the second parameter should be of type u so this q can be anything any class on the on the u you don't put the brackets no this bracket is not required here because we are not creating a collection this is a simple oh. simple declaration this is object actually this is not a collection okay. so only when you declare a uh, array list or some collection you need angular vessels but mm -hmm. what what do we mean here is that we are just typing u and then u so it could be integer so if you are calling this constructor using an integer type so that u capital u will be replaced by integer by java mm -hmm. right yes so this u is actually type and this is a, a variable name so you can write anything here right mm -hmm. so this is the way we create a simple generic class so how many different types you want to use using declare using uh, generics so you specify those types here so if you remove this t from the top you will get a compilation error so whenever you want to use any generic type you need to declare uh, that type on the very first line of class declaration okay yeah. so it does not matter if inside the class you use this type or not so you see that we are not using the v here right yes yeah. so but you can use it Okay. Yes. So this is clear, right? Yes. Okay. So generics and subtyping. This is a very, very, very important thing to understand the generics concept because if you do not understand it clearly, so you may may end up uh, doing a mistake in the program so let's understand something in java which will break uh, our understanding which which we had so far so uh, you uh, vijay uh, since you have done c++ programming and you, even you have done java programming you know that an object of parent class can hold an object of child class right hello yes okay so the same thing does not apply for generics 
so let's see an example we have a string a link list uh, an array list of type string then we have an array list of type object right so what we are doing here is that inside the list of object we are assigning the list of string so this list of object becomes list of string so this is valid right mm -hmm. okay so what does this mean because this object is a parent class is a super class actually of string so we are trying to say that this list of object this 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 list it can either contain objects or it can contain strings right yes okay so now see this list of object dot add object so we are inserting an object right because it an it is an array of uh -huh. array list of object so we can in add objects any object so even this is a correct syntax right yes so on the second line this line we are trying to achieve something which is against generics so we are trying to get the very first element of the list and trying to assign it to a string so this is not possible right yes so this was and very important thing to understand that java will not allow you to do this so a list of object is not a super type of list of string in jendix okay okay so let's see okay we have a parent class we have child class this child class extends the parent class then we have a demo class sub typing error demo right very simple declaration then we have created a link list of type child then what we are doing here is that we are creating an object of child we are assigning the parent to child this is other thing that a parent can hold the object of the child but the, does that same thing applies to list also see so this is a very important thing to understand while generic so it is against the our understanding which we had so far that a parent object can hold a child object but this list this is an object and this is an object and this object this second object lp lp is a parent object but parent object can not hold the child object okay yeah. you may <laughs> find some questions on on the certification and the related to this yeah. so this is clear right